Yo, what is up everybody? It's Jay the Great here and welcome back to another Naruto Reaction video here today. And today we have a very intriguing video by the Great Six and as you can tell by the title this is Sage Naruto vs. The Signing featuring Swag Kage, the real winner. So folks, this video should be even more interesting with Swag in the video because Six and Swag can bounce each other's ideas off of each other and we get an even more fruitful discussion with two minds involved rather than one. So this particular matchup, Sage Naruto vs. The Signing, is pretty interesting. Right, Sage Naruto surpasses particularly his Sensei Jiraiya when achieving perfect Sage mode because his Sensei only ever achieved imperfect Sage mode as evident by him needing the toads on his shoulders to use an optimal form of Sage mode. So if this video entails of Sage Naruto versus all three signing, then that's going to be problematic for Naruto, right? Because we have Jiraiya, who can use Sage Mode. We have Tsunade, who can use 100 healings. And we have Jiraiya, who in the worst case can even use Edo Tensei, right? And if he summons the right Edo, Sage Naruto is out of his league and will be defeated because so. But I'm predicting that they're going to at least touch up on how he would do against each one individually. Now, empirically, Sage Naruto just has better feats than all of them, right? Having some success against pain even though he did lose right he did lose to pain i do think that empirical piece of evidence is sufficient to conclude that sage mode naruto against any one of the sanin excluding the edo tensei ability would most likely reign victorious in the end but i am pretty intrigued to see what they have to say about this one and what this video exactly entails of but before we begin you know any less greatly appreciate it hit that like button Turn on bell notifications to stay updated with yours truly. And if you're new and you enjoy, man, and you mess with the kid, make sure to hit that sub button because once you do, you become part of the family forever. But let's not waste any more time. Screen. Let's see what Six and Swag say about this one. So every, like, maybe three, four months or so, I get this, like, slap in the face of reality. I just, I have to remember how powerful Sage Naruto is. Right. And there's a specific group of people who I think that when you put people up against them, it's a lot more interesting than the one people like to put everybody up against, which is the Akatsuki. And I think the Sanin versus Sage Naruto is um, a much more interesting matchup than Sage Naruto versus the Akatsuki would ever be, even though, you know, he already fought pain and lost. Correct. Um, anyway, Swag's <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I was trying to keep the reveal a surprise, but I couldn't not laugh at that. <laughs> but yeah, okay. There's no way people think Sage Naruto could fight the whole Akatsuki. Though. Correct. I mean... Pretty obvious. He might. Be. Anyway, so... Sage Naruto versus the Sanin. When I first, like, came to it with Swag, I had the idea that, okay, this is pretty straightforward. Easy video, Sage Naruto just slaps and we're out of there. By the way, we're talking about pain arc, Sage Naruto, obviously. Not not war arc, at least not here at the beginning. We might go over yeah. that later. Okay. But then we started talking about it and the, the battle is just far more complicated than I could ever have imagined. Of course, um, many variables. So one thing I wasn't considering when I first looked at it, there's a, there's a statement in the second data book it just says whenever the signing fight together, their skills get increased by three times over. And that's already just insane. Cause then at that point, it's kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard to, to scale them. Cause you know, they fight individually and whatnot. But I mean, I guess talking about them fighting individually first and then, you know, just adding them as a team later on. Yeah, it, be it's definitely an easier approach, right? Because right. Uh, I think I everybody will, um, be able to engage it's gradually the question of could discuss this right at the yeah. same time a lot more Agreed. easily if uh they know where we stand on how he would do against them individually and also if they uh know how uh, he stacks up against them individually now um we talked about this a fair bit before the video um we're going to try to keep this analysis as uh fair as possible right because mm -hmm. even though we have our own interpretations and you know like opinions uh, about the stuff that's in the manga and the data books, whatever. We both recognize that there are plenty of different ways that you can interpret some of these things. Of course, uh, ambiguity so will always we'll be just lay present. Out all the information, and like, we'll say what we think. You guys are free to interpret it however you want, and uh, depending on what you think about some of the pieces of information, I guess that'll inform how you think Naruto performs here. Having okay. said all that, moving past that first disclaimer, 
Jiraiya <laughs> is just ass. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, he just doesn't beat Sage Naruto. There's no reality. There's, like, no way you can uh, slice up uh, what's shown. Uh, like, there, there's no way you can present the information that makes Jiraiya seem stronger than Naruto. Correct. And I think, like, th th there's, like, some obscure stuff, too, that I hadn't even thought about that Six showed me here that, like, makes it even more blatant. Yeah. The more you compare the two of them, the more obvious I think it becomes that Sage Naruto is, like, way stronger than he is. You really have to bank hard on that statement that Payne makes where he says that, oh, if he if he knew the secret, we just, we probably couldn't have won. Right, there's always that you statement. You can interpret that statement in multiple ways. Um, first of which being that, well, if Jiraiya knew the secret of Payne to begin with, then maybe he would have just left and told everyone or, yeah. or something like that. Or he could have gone to the tower where Nagato was and just like killed Nagato, you know, yeah. without the paths of Payne. Uh, or pain could have been like, oh, well, I couldn't use my full power because I don't want to damage the rain village. Like a million different ways that you can interpret that. Statement. Right. So you can simply make an easy rational induction and say, well, clearly the toad that trained both Jiraiya and Naruto explicitly stated that Jiraiya is not inferior to Naruto because Naruto is a perfect sage. That is something that Jiraiya failed to achieve. Right. So when we go to the pain fight, we could say, well, obviously, Naruto is explicitly stated as being superior. Hence, we can interpret Pain's statement as, oh, if Jiraiya would have showed up in this particular case, knowing of Pain's secrets, he would have disposed of him. That would be a far-fetched assumption to make. That indicates that we must interpret that statement in a different manner. I think Swag came out with a pretty good interpretation saying, well, he simply just would have went to Nagato himself and eliminated him there. Right, because there are there are no paints present, Nagato's crippled, and Conan wouldn't be even near enough to stop Jiraiya, clearly as indicated by the actual battle we saw. Right, so I completely agree with them here. Right. Context is always important when trying to analyze and dissect a statement. So when extrapolating information from statements and trying to come up with claims, context is very important. And in this particular case, it is exceedingly important because some people unfortunately take this statement at surface value and come to the conclusion that Jiraiya is stronger than Pain, which is just utterly incorrect based on the empirical evidence itself. But let's continue on. So the way I think about it, I think what Pain is talking about is the fact that he had three extra bodies aside from the ones he had already sent to fight Jiraiya so that if the other bodies were there, obviously they would have got caught in Frog Song 2 and then all the Pains would have been defeated. But that's Jiraiya with Frog Song. Obviously, Sage Naruto is gonna have a counter of his own Frog Song because him and uh, he has Ma and Pa. But I've, yeah, I should have so, like, mentioned this, this is something weird about it. Like they would just both have Ma and Pa in the right. movie. Like it, it, it's it's like you know when you pick like uh, Itachi and then pick like EMS Sasuke. In they both have a much awesome. Like the fight can't happen because it's like you know both sets of Sharingan can't exist, but it's just a hypothetical, right. so they both have Mon Paul. Makes sense in this hypothetical, And Naruto would be right. able to cancel Frog Song if Jiraiya tried to cast it. Also, I think Naruto is just so much faster and stronger than Jiraiya that Jiraiya wouldn't even get to use it. Yeah, yeah, and we can, we can get to the scaling on that in a minute. But another thing, too, with Frog Song is that Naruto has Ma and Pa who are more willing to do the Jutsu then Jiraiya's Ma and Pa are. Because when the idea first gets brung up, Ma's like, no, I don't want to sing. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. But then they were planning to do it against Pain the second time. So they right. were, they're just more willing to do it for That's a good observation. than they are for Jiraiya. Um, so the frog song out of the equation. Now, as yeah, far well, I mean, uh, another thing too, just since this only got brought up because of the Pain statement, um, how, however you want to interpret it, it cannot possibly mean that pain all six paths together are weaker than sage jiraiya it, it, yes. there's just no way it, absolutely like, like like i said i uh am not trying to uh say that like you know my own opinion of uh what the text says uh you know supersedes any other opinion of but, course like i like 
I legit can't like I, I I've yet to see a compelling argument for it, and I've Agreed. been you know like looking at um, Naruto shit for like six years now. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> it, and I mean, I've I've really looked right because people bring this statement up all the time. But it's like Naruto does better against pain. His sage mode is more advanced. Perfect tip. Um, like, like okay, so let's like let's take one direct comparison, right? right. So, granted, Jiraiya is off guard when this happens, but uh, Jiraiya gets his arm just ripped off by the Asura pain, right? Just like one attack. His, he's missing an arm afterwards. Yeah. Then Whether the it was same... a punch or an explosion, doesn't matter. His arm was yeah. ripped. Yeah. Then later, Naruto sees the same uh, path of pain start charging at Tsunade and just blows it up with one punch. Just blitzes. One it, shot. Right? Yeah. Uh, so, like, you know. Uh, but I think a much better comparison because, again, you can't fall back on, oh, well, Dry was just off guard there. That doesn't count. Um, which I th okay, that's that's kind of that might even be a defeater. To that that works in Sage Naruto's favor, though. I I'll let you finish, but I'll explain how that just kind of works yeah. in Naruto's favor. But a much better uh, point of comparison is the Prey to Path, which uh, Six just pointed this out to me before the video. But if you look very closely when Jiraiya first uh, uses the massive Rasengan against the Prey to Path, he doesn't immediately start absorbing it and actually catches the massive Rasengan with both <laughs> hands. So he's just like tanking it at first, and then Naruto beats the Prey to Path with one punch. Yes, li literally one punch. Implying he needs, superior he needs, he needs AP. Revived right. by Naraka yes. after that punch. So Yeah, he literally had to get like re... like Yeah, he had to get rejuvenated by the Naraka Path. He was basically killed. Um, and like the, the Frog Kata is literally just like it takes your normal taijutsu and like extends the range right yeah. meanwhile we're talking about uh jiraiya's massive rasengan maximum output of chakra by the way yeah. this is jiraiya's absolute strongest attack and the praetor path not only tanked it but then absorbed it and naruto just one shot it correct now, yeah. aside from that which so i was talking about the osura path earlier and how jiraiya was off guard if Imperfect it dries in sage mode, keep that in mind. If that means imperfect sage mode does not have the danger sensory that normal sage mode provides users because he punched sage nar or sage dry his arm off. Yeah. So that actually just works in sage Naruto's favor. And then on top of that, you have you I know, see what the, you're saying. The, the master Rasengan thing, the fact that it's just part of the that narrative. is so crazy. By the yeah, way. the the like, massive Rasengan one is really the slam dunk. Like, yeah, <laughs> like it, it, I mean, it, it's so blatant too. Like, seriously, um, I was gonna say go look. The page will probably be up on the screen. Yeah, but the like, page see, be like there. just look at the page right now. Like you, can, like there's really clear. Like, you can see like the indentations or like the lines or whatever yeah. where he's like catching it, you know, and it's like the foom sound effect. Like it's hitting him, Correct. not like it's like, like getting absorbed. You know? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> you know, like the, the noise. <laughs> no. <laughs> that the Freda path makes when it absorbs Jutsu. It does not make that noise. Nah, <laughs> anyway, but yeah, that's really the slam dunk. But then on top of that, you have like, it's the entire narrative of Naruto learning Sage mode and getting the better Sage mode than Jiraiya to surpass Jiraiya and beat someone Jiraiya could not beat. Yeah. Like that that's just the whole the whole point of that story. So I mean Now granted, Naruto does still lose. He has to get yeah. help from Minato. Of course. But he performs so much better uh, way than Jiraiya does. Like Jiraiya looks at the animal path, the human path, and uh the prey to path. And he's just like, I can't fight these three. They're gonna kill me. Oh yeah, I, I forgot about that something. one. Yeah, like he he literally like that's exactly what he says. He's just like, if I keep fighting them, I'll be killed. And I'm pretty sure that's when he leads them into the building to use Frog Song against them, right? Yeah, 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 this um, is yeah. he literally admits inferiority. So like he straight which, up admits he can't be again weakens the presupposition that Pain then Naruto is suggesting like, that Dry would have beaten him if he would have known like, his like, secret like, in this like, particular he beats scenario. The animal path summons and then beats the animal path. He one shots the uh, Prada path. And the human path gets like no just by a Ross and Shuriken. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, and then on top of that, Jirai is fighting weak pads. He's fighting yeah. Yeah, Prada, he's, the, 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 animal yeah, and human. <laughs> like, yeah, like like again, like Naruto fights all three of those paths of pain with other paths of pain also present and beats them. As far as Jiraiya goes, I think we've made it pretty clear that Jiraiya by himself or with Maipa is not touching Naruto. Correct. He, he's right. not he's not Correct. at that level. Oh and it oh my god. Pa says Naruto surpassed his predecessor. Exactly. What I referenced yeah. earlier. So that, I mean, that literally yeah, I suggests that, but that's and indicates superiority. Is not up there. If you really, really, truly believe that Six and I are missing something with that like pain statement, I mean, all right, man. No, you guys are pretty thorough. If you, you guys think didn't miss that anything. That like overrides and negates all of these other examples. I guess more power to you. But <laughs> as far as I can tell, literally everything in the narrative points to Sage Naruto being stronger Correct. than Sage Jiraiya. <clears throat> and that's not even getting into how, like, in a fight, Naruto just has easier access to Sage mode than Jiraiya, who takes, like, a bajillion years to enter it. But, you know, like, we, we don't even have to go there, right? Like, we can just say they both start in Sage mode. Yeah. And Naruto still... Uh, has an overwhelming advantage. And I hope people don't think that like base Jiraiya would be Sage Naruto. <laughs> oh god, that's even <laughs> more comical. <laughs> that's completely unfair. You got like yeah. Naruto Sage Naruto clearly beating his four tail self. Um yeah. if you want like an example of this, Sage Naruto literally strikes a chakra rod and breaks it. The best the four tails does to the chakra rods in the manga is pop them out of its skin. That's it. So Yeah. Sage Naruto is stronger than the Four Tails, and the Four Tails, you know what he did to Jiraiya. Nearly killed Second him. Second time he was that close to death, by the way. Yeah. Um, but I guess the next one we could talk about. Is, you want to talk about Tsunade or Orochimaru? Uh, it's up to you. I'll let you pick. Um, let's go with. Let's just go with Tsunade. Tsunade is pretty right. okay. Simple. So, Tsunade. Uh, now this is gonna make people mad. Now people never like hearing this. Um, but Jiraiya is the weakest of the Sani, uh, in my oh, opinion. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, really? And um, the reason I say that is because, well, I mean, most people agree that, like, it's fair. I, I, I should say, most people agree that it's at least fair to consider Orochimaru the strongest Sani. Like, people aren't going to look that, at yes. you weird if you say that. People will just be like, oh, you know, well, I get what you say that, but I disagree. I think it's Jiraiya, right? Yeah. But, like, a lot of people don't seem to think that, like, Dry is weaker than Tsunade. Most people seem to think that she's the weakest. But the thing is, um, Jiraiya did not fight Madara, ever. Uh, he did not fight anyone close to as strong as Madara. And, like, Tsunade does a really good job in that fight. Like The she, best job. Really good job? Yeah, I don't know about I was that. About to say, she is the only one who is, like, actually, like, damaging him, like, significantly. I All right, so I got to dissect that argument there. So the reason that, at least from what I've extrapolated currently, that Tsunade is considered the strongest by swag is because of her fight against Madara. Now, the reason that, that argument is fallacious is because it is an appeal to ignorance, right? Because we never saw Jiraiya and Orochimaru in the same shoes that Tsunade was in when facing Madara. So we can't simply immediately conclude that, oh, Tsunade has some success against Madara, hence she must be stronger than Jiraiya and Orochimaru. I disagree, actually. I don't think that's sufficient evidence to conclude that claim. So I think it's more complicated than that. And I personally do not believe Sonata to be the strongest of Asani. That's all I have to say so far, but let's continue on. I'll explain more after the video. I should say, um, she straight up punches through his wood clone. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, she like breaks open his Susano. She tanks hits from his Susano. Like keeps fighting <laughs> while his Susano blade is like stuck. It's like it's like she's impaled by it, and she doesn't care. She just keeps fighting him. And you know, Dry is getting his whole like body mutilated by punches from <laughs> the Serpent. <laughs> so like <laughs> Tsunade, maybe you could say like she got stronger in the war arc. Like. I mean, I don't know. I think that, so I had a different outlook on this before, but Six told me 
uh, that I was probably wrong about this, and I think I agree with him now, but I thought that Tsunade would have actually been stronger in the pain arc because she would have had more chakra in her Byakugo than in oh, the yeah. war arc. Yeah. But it, like Six told me that the Byakugo just has like a set max chakra and then it activates. And I that think makes I more sense. agree with that now. Yeah. But I mean, like, I, I don't think that it's like unreasonable for anybody to think that. But what I will say is there's no actual like evidence that she got stronger between right. the pain arc and the war arc, right? And she was in a coma uh, for like the early like developing stage, like the pre-war period of the war arc. Um, so she didn't really have time to train and i'm pretty sure like immediately after she woke up she just got to like planning and you know doing a bunch of like uh desk work and like tactical work for the allied shinobi forces uh, mm -hmm. to make sure that everything right. was in order i don't after think she, she started eating or whatnot yeah because yeah. she had to eat yeah. to get her chakra back remember yeah yeah so she didn't have time to like train and stuff right so right. maybe she was stronger when she fought madara but it would be marginally at best um Dix thinks that she had like a mental amp or something. And that I makes more that sense. I agree with it. But if you think that she, well, here, I'll let you explain that before I keep going. So there's basically this thing called the Will of Fire. Here's and explains it in part one. It's something that all Konoha Shinobi have. It's just that in the middle of a desperate battle, you're going to become as strong as you are normally, or you can basically draw out your full strength or true strength whenever you're in the midst of a desperate battle or protecting something precious to you. And Tsunade just mentions that her true power lies in the Will of Fire. And then that's when she starts attacking Madara, um, doing noticeably a lot better. And it's also the first time in in the, the manga, at least, that we see that she uses the 100 healings in combat to actually amp herself or whatever right. she's doing. That's the first now, there showing. Is, uh, I think it's a novel. Uh, I'm not saying the novels are canon, by the way. Just, say, just mentioning that this is out there that says that when Tsunade is punching, she's actually breaking her bones, but the 100 healing is just healing her so fast, it really doesn't matter. But yeah, I basically just think that Tsunade was mental amped through that. Um, but I don't know, maybe she would, you, you could even argue maybe she would get the same type of mental amp in this fight, considering she has other teammates to protect, just like yeah. she was against the five Kage. Right. But well, I, I just thought thing. we wanted to mention it. Another thing, too, is that you could also maybe argue that Jiraiya would have gotten a Will of Fire amp against Pain, too, since, you know, um, that maybe that's what came through when he killed the Animal Path, who knows, because he was trying to make sure everybody at least had the intel they needed not to get completely wiped out by Pain. Right, you could so, speculate that. Like, that's a fair that speculation. I would say that Jiraiya, like, hardened his resolve on that first kick. When he Remember when he yeah. kicked the Human Path knocked out his eyes? Yeah, it does say he hardened his resolve for that. Um, so, so I, I don't think it's, like, bulletproof that, like, I, I think that, like, I get what Six is saying. Um, maybe you agree with it. I don't know. I don't think it's necessarily a defeater for uh, the idea that Tsunade is stronger than Jiraiya. But I think that what we can all agree, uh, regardless of how you interpret that statement, is that these are better feats than Jiraiya has. Like, by right. miles like Jiraiya can't compare to this at all right so they, wait, the, go ahead. the the Praetor path like tanking the massive of god that's the same thing Madara Susana would do and Tsunade <laughs> just kicked it yeah so right Tsunade is stronger than Jiraiya and if we use these as like the basis for Tsunade's um like the version of Tsunade we would be putting Naruto up against pain arc Naruto I don't actually think would win but if we use war arc naruto it's a different story and okay. I, I think that this is a little bit weird too because it's like i don't know if it's fair to use these war arc feats like when we're talking about pain arc naruto but like i already said earlier it doesn't seem like tsunade would have gotten that much stronger between the pain arc and now so okay. i don't know where to draw like the cutoff point but it's difficult I yeah i agree tsunade actually now, okay, look, I'm going to get in trouble for this. Uh, oh, no. What don't get say? mad at Six, because he's not the one saying this. But okay. in the Madara fight, at that point, Tsunade definitely was the strongest member of the Sun, like, based on feats. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, no, I agree. I agree. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. I, yeah. So my my issue with the this Tsunade thing kind of comes in whenever we start talking about speed. Because... Yeah. 
Okay. Sage Naruto is faster than her, even in the pain yeah. fight, I think. And that's that's really that's really all I care about. Because if Sage Naruto is faster than her, and then on top of that he's got like the precognition or whatever, then I think that's enough because I mean all he has to do is <coughs> get out the way of Tsunade. Like, yeah. just weed, I just think weed, that weed. that's definitely a, a fair way to approach the fight. Um and so what I will say is that I think if Naruto gets hit by one of these like Susano shattering punches, he's probably dead. He's dead. Um, yeah, but like I think that there's a strong case to be made that he just wouldn't get hit by uh, any of these punches. Um, right. Now scaling him to the rest of the series is like weird because Pain's only real opponents um, are like like people who just get way stronger in the coming arcs. So it's hard to scale Sage Naruto here to like the Raikage right. or like Onoki or whatever. Um, but one way you can do it is, um, and now, now I don't necessarily agree with this, but Obito seems to think that Sage Naruto is stronger than Sasuke at the very beginning of the Kage Summit arc, like before the Kage Summit starts and before any of the fights begin. Yeah, the, However, the one who's like stronger than the one who set B on fire or whatever. Yeah. However, I think that Sasuke does get stronger over he the does. course of uh, the Kage Summit arc. Most definitely. So, like, you literally can't disagree develop- with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah you like can't. His Susano can. is developing, you know, his Kari's chakra's saying like his colder. hatred is getting stronger. And so yeah. it's like, you know, chakra is getting more intense and stuff like that. Now, the thing is, the Raikage fight happens at the beginning. So I don't know how much stronger he got between when he tagged the Raikage with his Chidori and when Obito said that about him. But if Naruto was still stronger than Sasuke uh, when, you know, he tagged the Raikage with his Chidori, then Naruto should be around as fast as the Raikage in Sage Mode. And that would make him faster than Tsunade, uh, obviously. Now, the thing is, like, I don't know because it's like, Naruto seems to only surpass the Raikage when he gets KCM. Yeah, that, that's um, what I agree with. It's like a big with. triumphant moment. Yeah, right. So he probably is. He's definitely not faster than the Raikage's full speed. Maybe his like comfortable like V1 like suppressed combat speed that he's using yeah. at the beginning of the fight with Sasuke, but not like full power Raikage. So, so it's important to to mention this as well when you talk about the Raikage and his lightning cloak. When you say V1 and V2 those are fan terms right like me and swag use them to you know just so you know which version we're talking about but there is no v1 v2 it's the v1 we refer to quote unquote is just the raikage holding back the lightning cloak to some unknown extent and then there's a threshold where his chakra or his hair just spikes up yeah but yeah there there is no v1 and v2 so when when Naruto, Casey and when Naruto is struggling to get past the Raikage, there's a, a few interpretations of this. Um, there, there's mainly the one people like to go with uh, nowadays is the fact that Naruto just actually got stronger while going up against the Raikage or got faster and was able to get past him. Um, I know a lot of people used to think Naruto was just holding back. Uh, and then there was another argument that Naruto was mental amped, but it kind of, it doesn't make sense to the narrative for Naruto to just be mental amped there because if he was just mental amped there and this is supposed to be his test to enter the war. Yeah, um, that would be like it, really weird. Yeah, it would be redundant. The Raikage wouldn't let him go. It, it's just like, that would be bad story writing in general. So Agreed. Naruto probably Inductively, just got that makes there. sense. Um, and obviously the whole thing surrounding KCM1, kind of the whole time he has it, is its speed like Tsunade is surprised that Naruto Casey when Naruto can even keep up with V1 Raikage to begin with and then it was obviously you know when he speed blitz Kisame they were like oh is he he used uh teleportation ninjutsu like the yellow flash something like that um yeah. Casey on one is basically just focused on speed so I think it would be weird if Pain Arc Naruto was faster than Casey on one Naruto so I don't really think he skills to the Raikage, but it doesn't really matter too much to the whole Pain Arc Naruto, like, yes, I agree. tier people. The Sani are just, you know, they, they might be stronger than Raikage, they shouldn't be fast. That's all. Right. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I, I agree. Um, there is this, like, myth that's <laughs> uh, been perpetuated throughout the community that, like, it works like Dragon Ball, where, like, speed and power go up 
uh, concurrently in Naruto. And that mm -hmm. is just not the case. There are people who have, like, higher stat bars in one stat than another. Um, like, all over the place. The Raikage is a speedster. Like, that's his whole thing. Uh, so... Him being faster than Tsunade isn't a big deal. I think that the most direct form of scaling for Naruto uh, to Tsunade, but it's weird because she's out of chakra here. I, it's more of a narrative argument, is that uh, when the Asura path like, lunges at Tsunade, Naruto blitzes it, like, no difficulty. But Tsunade's out of chakra, so I think, like, like in a debate setting, if you were trying to scale Naruto over Tsunade, it would be really hard to use this, but yep. I think that... Kishimoto is clearly trying to convey uh, with this scene that Naruto has surpassed uh, the Sane Sane. and like the Sanin and is able to like protect them uh, the same way they would have protected him back in part one, right? Like I yep. think that's yeah. the whole like narrative goal here. So, it's an obvious narrative implication. Yep. This is a weird roundabout way to argue that Naruto would be faster than Tsunade, but he probably is. Probably I mean, his is, reaction yeah. time definitely should be uh, fast enough to like avoid her attacks and stuff. Um, and then, uh, I, I guess I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning. One of Sage Naruto's biggest weaknesses, after this we can start talking about Orochimaru, but yeah, one of Sage Naruto's biggest weaknesses, um, in the pain arc anyway, is the fact that he has this time limit on his Sage mode. Uh, he can only use two Rasen Shurikens, right? Two? Yeah, it's, yeah. uh, two. He can only use two Rasen Shurikens. His Sage mode runs out fairly quickly. Um, so we did think it would be fair, since it is Pain Arc Naruto, to just give him the backup clones, considering that he just kind of has them anyway. So if his yeah. stage mode runs out, obviously he can replenish it. Um, but then yeah, we can we can start talking about Orochimaru now. So well, so let's just say for the like our conclusive stance about Tsunade, right. is it's a little bit unclear. Uh, we both think that he's probably faster than her, but she hits harder than him and has like the regen hacks. So I think the fight's a lot more interesting than Naruto versus Jiraiya, but I would probably give it to Naruto ultimately. Yeah, like a Ross and Shuriken is just taking Tsunade down. Yeah. Um. All right, so before we get to Orochimaru, I do want to give my take on Tsunade versus Sage Mode Naruto. So despite what you presuppose about Tsunade versus Madara and how, how high she scales, the speed aspect, I think, almost most definitely will be in favor for Sage Mode Naruto, right? Because Madara, let's break down that fight. Because when breaking down the Madara fight, Madara was holding back. Madara was holding back. He was toying with the five Kage and could have ended it whenever he felt like it. So we got to take that in consideration. Context matters. Yes, Tsunade was able to execute some Susano breaking or cracking punches, which implies some very, very high AP. We can definitely scale her AP above that of Jiraiya when he failed to destroy one of the paths with his giant ball Rasengan, right? I mean, the path tanked it, which indicates that Tsunade's punch is substantially more powerful than Jiraiya's giant ball Rasengan, which is very telling, right? That is very, very telling. But it would come down, like Six said, to speed. Because speed, if it is sufficiently superior, will negate... The danger of a superior AP, right? Because Sage Mode Naruto will simply just evade Tsunade and beat her down until she is overwhelmed, similar to how she was against Madara, right? Which is beat her down, overwhelm her, and he would have the clones to replenish his Sage Mode in the event that he would need to do so. So I think speed is the factor you need to take into consideration the most. Now, can you definitively prove that Sage Mode Naruto in the Pain Arc is faster than Tsunade against Madara? No, you cannot. But I do think it's heavily narratively implied, right? It's heavily narratively implied. And Sage Mode Naruto serves as a milestone for Naruto. There are several milestones that Naruto has, right? For example, when he takes out Kakuzu with his Russian shuriken, that's when we start to get an implication that he has almost surpassed, or if not surpassed, Kakashi, right? And with Sage Mode, we get a very clear indication that he has surpassed Sanin level. Because one, we see him perform much better against Pain than Jiraiya did, with there being more Pains present, by the way. And two, he saves Tsunade from being executed by one of the passive Pain. Yes, she was depleted of Chakra, that is true. But all that is used to indicate Sage Mo Naruto achieving this milestone. Right? Now, to be fair, 
What makes it difficult is the fact that Tsunade had much success against Madara, right? And Madara is an individual that is leagues above anybody the Sani has ever faced before, Orochimaru and Jiraiya included. So that's what makes it contentious, right? Now, if we would have seen Jiraiya and Orochimaru have their own battles against someone of that caliber, then this would be a much easier discussion. But it's not, because Tsunade had an opportunity to go up against an individual that is leagues above, like I said, anyone else the Sani has ever faced before. But my conclusion would be the same as Six and Swag's speed would be the X factor in this one. And despite the possibility of Tsunade having a superior AP to Naruto, his superior speed would negate that threat, at least to a very high degree. And he would simply overwhelm Tsunade and beat her down eventually and defeat her. So that's what I would say for that one. Yeah, so to, to start talking about Orochimaru, we're not talking about Orochimaru from part one because Orochimaru from part one should be weaker than Sage Jiraiya. Um, at least that's what I think because Data Book 1 directly compares base Jiraiya and Orochimaru to one another, just says they're on par with one another. And then... Yeah, the, the yeah. most charitable you can be to Orochimaru there is to say that he's equal to Sage Jiraiya. Yeah. Uh, yeah, either way, like you, we, we're we not using part one Orochimaru, but the best you can get him is to say that he is equal to or relative to whatever uh, Sage Mode Jiraiya, which obviously doesn't help out too much in this fight, considering how we say it. Because I've always said about Sage Jiraiya, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to be using War Arc Orochimaru. Now, excluding okay. the Edo Tensei Hokage. Of course. Right? Yeah, that, that's just not back. fair. Not fair at all. Okay. Um, yeah, but definitely. He does he now would win. have Hashirama cells. He can use his eight-headed serpent jutsu. I mean, he can use that earlier, but still, he has eight-headed serpent jutsu, and the eight-headed serpent jutsu. Let's just say, like base Orochimaru is like Sage Jiraiya level, right? The eight-headed serpent jutsu. Actually, no, I kind of think Orochimaru and base is Sage Jiraiya level, because remember when they're fighting nerfed in the three-way deadlock? And Orochimaru is like, well, even though we're in like our nerve states, it's still no contest for me. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I, I kind of think base Orochimaru might be that Sage Jiraiya level. It really just depends on if you think data book one can include Sage mode, even though it only includes information from up to chapter 119. Right. I don't know, maybe like some foreshadowing or whatever, because Jiraiya is called the Toad Sage just upon introduction. Right, so I don't know. Maybe it was always a, a idea. It depends on your presuppositions, but, but right? Yeah. Orochimaru then has the Hydra, and the Hydra just surpasses him itself. It's just stated it surpasses him. Um, uh, the 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 most common counter to that would just be that Orochimaru gains a lot more mass whenever he enters the Hydra form, so maybe it's slower. I don't think that makes sense because, I mean. He gets all this power, but then he gets slower, so he can't hit the people he did before. Yeah, it, like it, it, he would just not sense. use it. Yeah, like, like it, I know that I said earlier that power and speed don't always right. Logically, Naruto, but it I, seems that's not far fetched. Right, the argument that the speed that would decrease here. He's just saying that it wouldn't be like practical to use the jutsu if it made him significantly slower. Right. Yeah, especially like a genius like Orochimaru, he's just not yeah. doing something like that. Yeah. Um, Agreed. So then you can maybe say that the Hydra surpasses Sage Jiraiya, but then we kind of get into weird territory, right? Where it's like, if the Hydra surpasses Sage Jiraiya, how do we scale it to Naruto? Yeah, like, because Naruto also surpasses right. Sage Jiraiya. Yeah. Um, so the, the thing about the Hydra is it might not still surpass Orochimaru in the war arc because it's a different entity than him like that's how the data book talks about it at least in my opinion it's a separate entity from him because yeah. like I, I agree. Uh, like it couldn't surpass him if it, it was, was him. him yeah so it has to be a different entity and in right the war arc, he might just be stronger than it like when he absorbs all of, like kabuto stuff and gets the hashirama cells mm -hmm. um but like if we assume that this is just like uh like Itachi pursuit Orochimaru and he whips out the Hydra against Naruto. Yeah, it's like impossible to scale this to him because like 
it's not like the Hydra has any anti feats aside from not being able to crack the Yada mirror with <laughs> like <laughs> right, the, right know, which nothing. almost nothing and then, can. Like, right. It gets one shot by the Tochka blade. Like he's literally up against infinite attack and defense stats. So yeah, the strongest in the verse. To... <laughs> 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 anyway, um, it's impossible to scale him using this. So. He could maybe yeah, it's be very like ambiguous. vaguely similar to, but I don't know. I feel like if he was strong enough to like go after pain or like fight somebody who was able to fight pain, he like he would have just done it even when he was sick, you know. Like I I don't know why he would just you know hold this jutsu and never use it. It's like oh man, I need to go steal a body. Well, I mean, he's not, right? Because he lost to Itachi. He lost a week in Itachi. Itachi's yeah. not as strong as Pain. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, so. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you could do something like that to say he, he's Because, like, Naruto, Naruto also lost to Pain, but, like, I feel like the eight headed serpent, or I, I feel like weakened Itachi is not getting through as many pads as Naruto did. He's definitely not, bro. Like, yeah. There, there's just no way. A very um, sick Itachi, but yeah, I mean, I agree. that's that's how Naruto handles them individually. But well, so the thing is, we have to go back to War Arc Orochimaru because War Arc Orochimaru, like we said, might be stronger than this serpent, and actually mm -hmm. probably should be stronger than Naruto, just because, like, I think it's like since he like absorbs all of Sage Kabuto's power, he should just be as strong oh, as Sage Kabuto and then stronger. That. Right. Oh, yeah, so like, he should probably be stronger than Pain Arc Sage Naruto. But then like, if we bring out War Arc Sage Naruto, it's a completely different story because this guy's is. like, uh, just stopping Madara's like wood jutsu, uh, you know, fighting Karama and like beating Karama. Uh, on top of that, um, you know, I don't agree with this feat, but he does damage Ten Tails Obito. Obito's like massively mega ultra off guard and like <laughs> tries to use Kamui but realizes he can't so mm, I don't know uh, yeah and that was a very mentally that nerfed you want, Chibito war arc uh, sage mode Naruto should be strong enough to fight Orochimaru without that Otensei summons yeah, I mean, Orochimaru is just a weird character to include here because it's like in part one he's ass based on that Jiraiya statement Yep, correct. and then in the war arc he's overpowered and then in between those two points he's just complete ass because he doesn't even have his arms so. yeah right i mean like the way orochimaru like 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 so i say war sage monarto is wiping the floor with him because i mean he's throwing around mountain size ross and shurikens and whatnot even while weakened um yeah. so there's there's just no contest there but agreed like factoring Orochimaru into the team battle is is weird. Yeah. Like, especially if we go with War Arc, because the signing the signing have God tier teamwork. They're like the teamwork guys. People people like to say that the Akoski Alright, so before we get to the final part, which is where they pit Naruto against the entire signing, I'm assuming, I would like to simply say this for Orochimaru versus Seijmo Naruto. Pre Narc Seijmo Naruto. Part one, Orochimaru clearly loses, right? He is relative or on par with Jiraiya in base. I tend to believe it's not Sage Mode, not Sage Mode Jiraiya, because Kishimoto would it include something that didn't ha that didn't happen until later on in the narrative. That's the way I look at it from my own subjective lens. Hence, part one, Jiraiya would lose to Sage Mode Naruto. So, part one, Orochimaru would lose to Sage Mode Naruto. Now, in Shippuden, before the war arc, Orochimaru has no arms essentially, and he struggles. He competes, but he struggles against Four Tail Naruto, right? Sage Mode Pain Arc Naruto is above the Four Tails that face Jiraiya, and Six made a very, very good observation to further reinforce that notion, right? He has he destroyed the Chakra Rods easier than the Four Tails did, so hence Sage Mode Naruto would most likely defeat that sick and armless Orochimaru who's dying, right? And I think most individuals within the fandom would come to that consensus. Now, War Arc Orochimaru against Pain Arc Saint Bro Naruto is interesting, right? Think about it this way for Orochimaru. He absorbs a perfect sage's abilities and has his own, right? So on top of his own, he has Kabuto's perfect sage mode, Hashirama cells, etc. Right? So he, is, he has amps in basically all traits, AP, speed, durability, etc. So... 
pain arc Sage Bo Naruto would most likely lose to that version, right? He would most likely lose based on the big amp he got from Kabuto, who we saw is very capable. I mean, he went toe to toe with both EMS Sasuke and Itachi, right? So Hirochimaru absorbed that individual on top of his own abilities. I would say he most likely deals with Sage Mode Naruto and defeats him. I think that is a very reasonable conclusion to come to. Right, so I agree with Six and Swag on this one, and empirically, it's supported. So let's continue on. Working together, like all the, you know, the whole teamwork, the argument, the signing, or like the embodiment of the teamwork. Yeah, they all argument. get three times more skill. Three they time multiplier. Yep. The, their skills increase thrice fold, is what the data book says. So yeah, I'd interpret that as them just being three times stronger. I guess I get why you wouldn't. Um, but I'm not talking about six, by the way. I'm talking, when I say you, I mean the viewer. Uh, why one of you might not interpret it that way. Um, I think that if we throw the, like, war arc signing and, I guess, pain fight Jiraiya at Naruto, Naruto probably loses, yeah. um, even in the war arc. If it's, like, triple strength, will of fire, right. if we're Nare, taking a statement like, hyper-literally, yeah. Uh, doing combos. Arc, but, yeah. Yeah, like, and then Jiraiya just being ass, like, but doing his best. Um, Naruto probably <laughs> can't keep up. Like, you got, like, I'm, Manda, Kasuyu, um... Yeah. Well, I guess Orochimaru never got Aoda or Aoba, whatever. What's the snake's name? Oba I think it's Aoda, yeah. Whatever. Aoba's the never guy who fought one. Kakazu. Yeah, but... Oh, yeah. Goat. Yeah, right. Goat. He never got the, the other snake, but, I mean, he still has Manda, which can help out a lot. Obviously, there's Kazuyu, and then like with the three times amp, I mean, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to say Naruto would win. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. So, Unless he throws that big Ross and Shuriken, and maybe they can't dodge it, which I could, I could see the argument for, especially if they're closer range. I could definitely see the argument for that. I think Naruto Orochimaru would, would be able to do his like snake skin thing, and maybe Tsunade would be able to like regenerate through it maybe mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. those are both kind of like heads or tails Jiraiya would get cooked by it yeah Jiraiya sure. dry is dead dry is dead yeah dry is um, the only signing that we can't make an argument for no matter what if we use war arc or pain arc in order to you just can't make an argument for it yeah i know right like right because they're directly be, like, compared weird, so it's like, harder to make an argument for Jiraiya. Right? naruto then <laughs> Jiraiya would probably win yeah, uh, then but, maybe Jiraiya could pull out a dub, but... Yeah, but um, any point where Naruto actually has Sage Mode, it doesn't work. I think the most interesting matchup is if, like, you take tuning exams, Orochimaru, uh, Sage Jiraiya from the Pain Fight, and, like, Tsunade from the Pain Arc, but, like, with her, Byakugo, mm -hmm. and, like... I think, okay, so the best way to set up Tsunade here and like try and figure out a vague idea of how strong she is, is to like d use like a meta argument uh, that goes beyond the text of the series uh, and talk about how Kishimoto wanted to have Tsunade fight pain, but um, Shonen Jump pressured him to uh, speed up Sage Naruto's appearance. I think it was right. in time for Christmas uh, or something like that. Um, there was a deadline he had to meet for Sage Naruto versus Pain, so he had to cut the Tsunade versus Pain fight. But the fact that they were going to fight at all means that Tsunade probably wasn't going to win, right? Um, and I imagine that he wouldn't have had her nerfed during the fight. She probably would have still had her Byakugo and stuff. Like, nobody would have Makes wanted sense, to watch right? have, Tsunade to make it any, Pain. Any, so, some, uh, any some entertaining. I think do that. that, like, it, it also doesn't bode well for her that Kishimoto thought that Pain would fight her and still be in good enough shape to fight for, Sage like, Naruto yeah, to fight and beat Sage Naruto yeah exactly so um Tsunade is probably not as strong in the Pain arc as she was uh in the Madara fight based on that so Correct. I still think she's probably stronger than Sage Jiraiya though um because pain wasn't gonna kill her like he, like he killed jiraiya mm -hmm. uh and she was gonna be fighting all the pads maybe just tendo regardless if it was all the pads or just tendo it still would have been harder than what jiraiya dealt with um and so i i think that like in the pain arc tsunade would be vaguely stronger than jiraiya using this argument 
Orochimaru would be equal to him, and then you would just throw them all on a team. At the worst, Tsunade should be comparable to Jiraiya, so it's like... The least charitable you can be to the Sani is to say that, like, you throw three Sage Jiraiyas at Naruto, basically, but with, like, really good teamwork and roughly three times as strong. Mm -hmm. I honestly think that uh, Sage Naruto could probably win that fight, but, like, if Tsunade or Orochimaru are, like, stronger than Jiraiya at all, I think it becomes more difficult for Naruto, but he could maybe probably do it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's really ambiguous, and it is. I think I think, I think it's like, a hard for, question like, to answer. The most part, like the initial battle we started off with, with those versions of the characters, it's a bit up in the air. Like not yeah. completely inconclusive, but it really, really depends on how you interpret certain scenes and statements. Correct. Um, yeah. Which, which we mentioned earlier, anyway. So, I wouldn't say definitively a winner there. If I had to pick one, I'd probably go with Naruto. And then Naruto would lose to like the stronger versions of the signing, like the the War Arc ones. And then yeah. I think War Arc Sage Naruto kind of almost no matter what uh, would beat all three of the signing pretty easily. Like he's yeah. just he's got the clones there. Um, he's obviously got Kurama if he needs to turn that on. I just think that at that point it's kind of just unfair. Um, yeah, agreed. The War Arc Sage Naruto is just like a different beast. Yeah. Yeah, so another level. I, mean, I think yeah. I think that's it. Um, if you want to mention anything else, I mean, you can go. Um, no. Uh, I just want to repeat again that Jiraiya is the most ass of them. Yes, <laughs> Jiraiya is, is the most ass. Um, blatantly the weakest. The son. weakest. Yeah. Uh, way weaker than Sage Naruto. He never get up. There. Oh, of course. Way weaker than Pain. <laughs> Multiple tiers below Sage Naruto. Multiple okay. tiers below Sage Naruto. Multiple tiers below Pain. Um, multiple um, tiers above Kakazu, though. Like many, many, many tiers above Kakazu. Kakazu. Weaker than uh, post Pain Arc Kakashi. Um, I, I'll post stop. Post Pain Arc, there. I agree. I don't know about Pain Arc. Yeah, yeah. Pain, pain Arc, he, he, he would win. He would win. But yeah, I'll, I'll stop it there. Obviously, subscribe to Swag if you have it. Great video. Kakashi would probably beat your eye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come, come, come. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, anyway, yeah. Uh, as six was saying, subscribe right. to me. Subscribe. All right, guys. Great videos, always. Uh, get uh -huh. them up to a hundred k fast. Turbo speed. Sonic Frontier speed. Shout out to Swag and Six. Bro, this video was forty minutes. But yeah, uh, other than that, uh, <laughs> have a nice day. <laughs> All right, there you guys have it. I definitely want to get my thoughts on this. So, they uh, definitely gave Dry a hard time, huh? Well. I would say I could see where they're coming from, right? When scaling Jiraiya and Tsunade and saying Tsunade's stronger. Tsunade had feats against Madara, right? But again, context matters. She had other people helping her. Madara wasn't taking them serious, even in the slightest. Yeah, he had a little shock when she cracked his Susano. And maybe he was like, oh, okay, maybe I should get a little serious. But <clears throat> I, I do believe some people overrate the feat that Tsunade had against Madara. Clearly, her durability is up there with some of the best in the verse, clearly. Um, however, it's hard to scale her against Jiraiya, right? Jiraiya did look bad against Pain. Three Pains destroyed him and killed him off. That is correct, right? That is correct. <clears throat> but speed is an ambiguous aspect to me, despite Tsunade having success against Madara, because context matters. Um, so I'm not the first one to say that Tsunade is stronger than Jiraiya. It's not that simple to me, and I don't think the feats definitively prove that. I think most people would agree with that. But however, let's get back to the topic at hand here. Sage Mode Naruto is significantly stronger than Jiraiya, right? We can agree with that. And what is implied to me throughout the timeline of Naruto is that the signing are relative, right? And that notion begins to die out as more feats are accomplished by the respective Sani. Right? Tsunade against Madara. Orochimaru gets perfect Sage Mode Kabuto's abilities. Jiraiya gets his ass whooped by three pains in the Rain Village, right, with imperfect Sage Mode. So it becomes more blurry and ambiguous, and it's harder to analyze and conclude the exact scaling of the Sani. But when pitting Sage Mode Naruto against each one individually, he most likely wins, unless you're talking about Warwick version of Orochimaru or Warwick version 
and mentally amped Tsunade because I do think Tsunade was mentally amped to a very high extent in that fight. Um, so, Seymour Naruto beats any one of them one on one besides the Warhawk versions. I think it gets more interesting, and either one, Orochimaru or Tsunade, could possibly beat him. Possibly, right? I think he beats any one of them one on one. Um, as far as all three signing before Warhawk against Seymour Naruto, I think he'd have a tough time. Um, he'd have to deal with the durability of Tsunade, durability of Orochimaru and his axe, and Jiraiya's axe as well, right? So all of them working together. And on top of that, if we presuppose that, that there's a literal three times multiplier when they work together, Seijuro Naruto most likely would be defeated. He would most likely to be defeated, right? If we presuppose all their traits are increased by a multiplier of three, not to mention that they have their X-Factor abilities, right? Tsunade with the 100 healings, or Orochimaru with the Hydra Snake and Jiraiya with Imperfect Sage Mode. So if they have that multiplier and they use his abilities, Sage Mode Naruto might have a tough time. Right? He'd have to strategize how to approach this. If he can get them all together, congregated in one area with a sufficiently small radius, maybe a Ross and Shuriken would do the trick or a couple of them. Right? Maybe a couple of them would do the trick. I'm under the presupposition that Sage Mode Naruto is probably faster than all of them. Right? Besides, maybe possibly Hydra Snake Orochimaru, because that is his strongest ability, and Swag made the case that the Hydra itself is a different entity in, in its entirety, and it's not even Orochimaru at that point, and it is superior to Orochimaru, that specific version of Orochimaru, so maybe it is as fast or faster than Seijo Naruto. But besides that, I think Seijo Naruto is faster than all of their versions, right? Before War Arc. Now, going to the War Arc, Orochimaru by himself, might beat Pain Axe Sage Mode Naruto. He might possibly do so. Again, he has Kabuto's abilities, and that individual, right, Kabuto, was able to go two-on-one against Itachi and EMS Sasuke, who are most definitely stronger than Pain Axe Sage Mode Naruto. So I would say Orochimaru, in his Warwick version, would most likely beat Pain Axe Sage Mode Naruto. As far as Tsunade, it would come down to the speed aspect, right? Um, it's harder to assess her speed. Again, I don't think that she's even remotely close to Madara's level and speed. Right? He wasn't taking her serious. He let them have their moments against him, and then he took them out. Right. So I think Sage Monaruto's speed would be the X factor here. And if it's sufficiently superior enough, he will simply just evade all of Tsunade's attacks and overwhelm her with his own attacks, which are nothing to laugh at. Right. He's very powerful as well when it comes to AP, as evident by his success against Pain. Now, Painar Sage Mode Naruto against all this, all the Sonin, including the War versions, probably gets destroyed. I don't think he'd have a chance against them. It'd be a very slight chance. Orochimaru more than likely is superior in speed to Painar Sage Mode Naruto. If he has a perfect Sage's abilities now absorbed, plus his own, plus Hashirama cells, I mean, we're talking about a guy that can do a lot, right? So. I doubt Painox Sage Mode Naruto would have a chance against that. I think empirically that holds, right? Which is why I believe that claim to be very rationally valid. Now, Warrock Sage Mode Naruto is a whole different beast. We're talking about a guy that probably has a much higher time limit, a guy that was using Sage Mode casually with other clones and other parts of the battlefield throughout the Warrock. So this guy probably beats all of them at the same time, right? He has. A Russian shuriken that was powerful enough to where Madara had to absorb it. Because he said this ninjutsu had too much energy. So he had to use his running on ability and absorb it. Or whatever he did exactly. So Sage Mode Naruto throwing a couple Russian shurikens at these guys would probably obliterate them on a cellular level. Including Tsunade. I honestly think that if he throws a powerful enough Russian shuriken at Tsunade, even mentally amped, I think it would, hit, it would thrash her on a, on a molecular level which was the purpose of the Rasen Shuriken in the first place. So, in conclusion, to make it crystal clear, Pain Arc Sage Mode Naruto beats Tsunade, right, the Tsunade before the war arc. He beats Jiraiya, who is an imperfect sage, and most likely beats Orochimaru, right? However, if he uses his Hydra Snakes against Pain Arc Sage Mode Naruto, we could see an interesting battle there. In one-on-one, -on -one, he beats any one of those guys, there's a chance. All three together, he probably still beats them. Again, unless Orochimaru uses the Hydra Snakes, then we can be talking about something different here. And like Six and Swag said, 
it's almost impossible to scale the snake itself. It, only, it was only shown once, right, against two tools with, with infinite stats. So anyone that would have been put up against that Itachi would have had similar success, right? And now going to the war arc, Pain Arc Sage Monarto most likely beats Tsunade because of the speed advantage. We'll lose to Orochimaru because, again, he absorbed Kabuto's abilities. And Jiraiya is not involved, so I'm not. I'm just going to use the same Jiraiya that we see at the end. And finally, if we're talking about Pain Arc Sage Monarto against the Sanin, including the war arc versions, he would lose. We're talking about Orochimaru, Mentally Amped Tsunade, and then we have Jiraiya. So he would most likely lose that one. But once we jump to War Arc Sage Monarto, he beats almost any version of them, even if they are together. He's in a whole different league because, again, he's a different beast at that point. But yeah, folks, that's going to wrap it up. That's my thoughts on this. I thought this was very interesting. And if you notice, even Six and Swag, who are some of the most knowledgeable individuals in all of Naruto, had trouble with this because this is extremely ambiguous. It's not black and white at all. It really isn't. These, some of these specific matchups are extremely amb ambiguous and contentious. And some things are damn near unprovable. Like how strong the Hydra Snakes are of Orochimaru. There is no way to really scale that. There really isn't. We can look at the databook statement and go from there. It gives us somewhat of a template to bounce off of, but it's very difficult. Tsunade against Madara. Still hard to scale. Because there's a lot of context to take into consideration. A lot of context to extrapolate. Madara was holding back. Tsunade was mentally amped, etc. And he had five guys go against him at once. So Tsunade had an easier time doing what she did. So this goes to show you that some of these matchups are very, very ambiguous. And even the best minds in the community will have a hard time due to the unfortunate reality of ambiguity. So there you guys have it, folks. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I know there's probably all kinds of thoughts on this specific matchup with the spectrum being wide, right? With some people on this side, some people on this side. I do read all your comments. So again, leave them in the comment section below. That's going to wrap it up, folks. I'll catch you in the next one. This is Jay the Great signing out. Peace.